I think there's this stigma of sorts around having a nine to five job around having a job in general, like that somehow um, less than running a business or being an entrepreneur. But I've come to the conclusion for myself, and I think most entrepreneurs would tell you this, that entrepreneurship kind of sucks. <laughs> it kind of sucks. And it's one of those things that unless you can't do anything else, <laughs> like you can't not do it, you probably shouldn't do it because it means, yes, you have more freedom to schedule yourself and organize your life in the way that you dictate, but it's not actually you dictating it. It's the business. And so what ends up happening is that you're either working all the time, uh, meaning working more than you would in a job or well, and, or you're also thinking about it all the time that you're not working. You're completely responsible for it. You can't pass the buck to anybody. There's no safety net other than the one that you build for yourself. And that's just not something most people are comfortable with. And I think a lot of people are led to believe that they should or shouldn't be like, well, they, that they should be an entrepreneur. That's like the thing to do. That's a, the trendy thing. And that's just not true as far as I can see it. That's actually not true. Most people can thrive if they take the job path, if they take an entrepreneurial sort of perspective towards the job path. The entrepreneurial perspective is how can I design my own life? At the deepest part of it, it's like, I want to build this thing because I have this creative urge to do it and I don't want to be held back by somebody else telling me how I should build it or what I should build. And I want to build my life in the same way. That's the entrepreneurial spirit. And that's complete. It's completely possible to take that towards a job. Like what job do I really want to do? What is my purpose? So to speak, if I, if you can like uncover that within yourself or an inkling of it, the first seeds of it and line that up with a job and career path, you can be like in some cases much happier than most entrepreneurs, many, many entrepreneurs. I mean, I, I sometimes struggle to think of, it. we know a couple of them, so it's, it's easier here, but at scale, like most of the entrepreneurs I know aren't very happy people. They're stressed out and their whole self-image and ego is tied to their business and their success. And it, it actually causes a lot of dysfunction in their life. And this isn't a, a talk about not becoming an entrepreneur. It's just about opening your mind past the sort of duality of like entrepreneurship, good, bad, having a job, good, bad. No, there's no right path. It's like, what's right for you and what are you suited for? And I believe that most people are much better suited to thrive within a job environment if they can find a job that they love and something that they can commit themselves to mastering and doing for a long period of time. And if you don't have that, it, you know, very few people have that from the jump. When you first go into the job pool and you start to like build your career, but you find it along the way and taking that entrepreneurial spirit towards the job path of like, okay, I'm finding my way. I'm not sure what this business and this offer is in entrepreneurship terms. I don't know what my like unique offering is, but I'm like, I'm launching this and then I pivot and then I, it's like, again, a plane that's off course for 90% of the trip, but it's directionally correct. Rather than being perfect in where you're going, just be going in the right direction. And the way that you find that right direction is like what feels right to me and what makes sense given my skill set, my ability, my interests. And then you just go and you figure it out. And that sort of spirit taken to the job path is a really good fit for most people. Whereas entrepreneurship is a really good fit for very few people. So I want to... <laughs> 
I want to just say that as a general disclaimer overall, again, I don't recommend entrepreneurship. I don't not recommend entrepreneurship. I recommend you think for yourself. I'm just here as a mouthpiece to give you ideas <laughs> that might help you uh, hopefully think for yourself a little bit better.